Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the GE dryer door latch. It's going to be a very easy repair and it'll only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new dryer door latch. The dryer door latch and the strike work together to keep the door closed. The manager should be changing it out so if it's damaged and the dryer won't start. In order to change the part, we have to open up the dryer door. Once you have the door open, we have access to the screws to take the hinge out. There's four screws, but we're only going to loosen the upper ones and remove the lower ones. We're going to use the Phillips screwdriver to take them out. Once you have the screws out, you can lift up on the door and pull it off. Now that we have the door off the dryer, we're going to set it on a towel so we can work on it. We have to take out the screws that hold the inner and outer panels together. We're just going to use a Phillips screwdriver to take them out. Once you have those out, we're going to take out the screws that hold the hinges on. Once you have the screws out, we have to take the door hinges out, set them aside. We're just going to lift the door a little bit so we can pull the hinges out. Once you have them free, we're just going to separate the inner and outer door. And you want to grab the outer panel and set it aside. Then we're going to turn the inner panel over so we have access to the door latch. There's a door latch on each side, depending upon which way your door is set up is which one's going to be bad. The door latches are held in two ways. The gray plastic body clips onto the metal, and then you have the gold retaining clip that holds it on also. So we're going to squeeze it this way with the pliers and you just want to press it down a little bit. You don't want to try to press it all the way out because you'll get it stuck in there all at an angle. And then you want to turn the pliers around. You may have to lift it up from the bottom to kind of lift up on a little bit so you can get the right angle on it. And you want to squeeze the gold clip and then press it down through the door frame. Once you have it out, you can pull it off the door. Here's the old door latch next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get out appliancepartspros.com. To put the new door latch in, all you have to do is line it up with the hole and snap it into place from the bottom. Once you have it snapped in, we can put the door back together. To put the door back together, we just have to set the inner panel under the outer panel, set it into place, make sure it drops down and all the screw holes are lined up. Then we have to put the hinges back on. You just want to separate the door a little bit on this side and then line the hinge up and then slide it on. And then you want to close the hinge and then let two halves drop back together and then open it up again. The other one goes on the same way. Once you have the hinges mounted, we can use a Phillips screwdriver to put all the screws into the door. You have to press on the door itself to get the hinges to line up a little bit. Once 
Once you have the door put back together, we can put it back in the dryer. To put the door back on, you just have to line up the upper screws and set it into place. Once you have it mounted on the screws, we can use the Phillips screwdriver to put the screws in. Once you have the door back on, you close it, plug the dryer back in, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.